Hello guys, welcome, sit back, relax, and enjoy, while we go into the unknown of Dawn of Man. Yes, welcome, welcome, thank you for watching this video, um, before we start, um, I do apologise, I have been away for quite a while, um, I've been relocating, um, and bits and bobs, but you know, that's my problem, not yours. Um, but yes, I will try and get regular uploads now. I've been waiting for a microphone because my mic stopped working. Um, the internet waiting to be installed and stuff like that. But yes, I'm back. Um, and today we're going to do Dawn of Man. We're going to um, do a little mini series of this to see how we go. I'm not sure how well it's going to go. Um, I've had a little practice one, I know the basics of it. Um, so we'll see. As the game, game has only just recently come out, so um, we'll see what we do. So three things here. Um, let's do the ancient warriors. Uh, normal blood lake, plains of conflict, blood river, cannon of slaughter. Is that difficult accessible? Uh, well, I've, I've played on these two here, as you can see. Um, but I haven't played on this one. This is survive two years. Well, let's give that a go, then, shall we? What's the worst that could happen? Um, we're going to call it Mucker Boys. Not sure why, but that's a random sort of thing. But there it is. Uh, we're going to go. I, I do like the idea of the Blood Lake, but we're going to go Plains of Conflict. That's not. Well, I hope all you guys are doing well. Um, I hope that you are having a nice weekend. So and this we'll is see where you you're left. Uh, Plains of Convict, not a lot going on. Got some people here, so this is obviously on the hardest setting by the looks of it. I played on the easy and the medium size one. Um, and if you're not sure about the game, it's a little bit like Banish. Um, it's got a little bit of a twist than Banish. Uh, it's not as big as Banish, but obviously Banish has been out for a long time. This has only just come out. Um, so what we're going to do is... No, wrong button. I want that. And I want fish. This is basically... Put a cursor there. Then you can click on it and choose how many people you want to maintain that area if you like. Um, and then they can production limit for fish is set for 40. Um, it's quite easy, um, accessible this sort of game. Uh, it's like when they kill an animal, instead of telling them that they've got to go and butcher it, they know that they should go and butcher it. So, it, in some aspects, it's very, it's very good. It does it automatically. When the fish is low, because I put this here, they just come and get fish. So, it's, it's quite, you know, it's, it's, it does help. Where banish is quite sometimes can be a bit of an ag to be honest uh, so that's fish there them two are going to start catching fish hopefully uh, we've got a storage here what we've got in storage we've got four straw two dry fish and two curd meat so what we need to do first is put food dryer up um, do that in the middle uh, we also need to collect some sticks because we've only got two sticks. Again, you'll notice when there's sticks, when you're lying this around, it will go yellow, so you know um, that there is actually sticks about. There's some sticks here, so click that. We go down into the because I've put it up behind a tree, so that helps, doesn't it? Where's the? There it is right. Put two people doing that, and uh, we'll put a uh, hundred because you do need quite a lot of sticks in this game. So that is that they will collect that and take that back to the storage hut. He's off on his way now, he should be. Yeah, going to collect sticks again. Old Mazor is an adult man, he's looking very good in everything, actually. To be honest, Jesus Christ, that won't last. He's good at the moment, right? So let's chop some trees down again. This is the area that's going to do that. Again, it's a bit like Banish in the aspects of you put more houses, more people will come. So to make more people come, I put more houses, I build more houses. Um, they can be upgraded as well. So, exactly the same sort of thing. Uh, right, we need some flint as well. 
flint is normally there's some flint there but we've got any nearer uh, no it doesn't seem to be any nearer there's some over there but it's still quite trek no gonna have to get some over here there's two lots there so that's good two let's stick that on a hundred there he's good as well what's his name Turok. Um and obviously on this game obviously they need a lot of dry skins uh, just to make clothing really so obviously the easiest way to do that on this game is if you click the eye that goes into primal vision so you can see animals obviously you need to slaughter animals like pigs are very good goats are very good uh, for their skin uh, so you can go around obviously the green ones you can see any green ones at the moment I can't see a lot, lot anywhere actually there's a green one so this deer here adult male we can hunt it if we want uh, green is good so they're not much of a high risk this bear here is red so younger people um, even people in your camp that hasn't got a lot like you know at the moment we're just playing with the basics so we, we are literally playing with bow and arrows um, spikes wooden spikes spears so you know we wouldn't go for someone that's red because it's just gonna be a nightmare got yellow here so he's a medium um, and then also it obviously tells you where all the food is like cherry trees there's some cherry trees scattered around um, you've got some iron and ore here you've got another selection of stuff here um, got another lake over somewhere over there I think it is but you've got streams going through you get traders it's exactly the same really as uh, banished but yeah, just a little twist on it a little bit different I quite like it um, I played a good I don't know half an hour on it there's the lake so you've got another lake here and you can build on all of this so it is, it is all buildable um, again I, I've only played half an hour so I haven't played an awful lot but if there was actually some green if there was a closer we're not going to be able to take that that's just something that we ain't going to be able to do um, at the moment there doesn't seem to be any animal that's green near here that's fine we we'll have to uh, wait for that. See what happens. It is the autumn, by the looks of the trees. Yeah, so we are going into, we are in the period of getting into the winter. So I need to make sure that we've got all of it. Let's fast forward this so it gets a bit quicker. Um, build. What else have we got here? We've got a tanner. Mortar. We've got mortar already. We need this. This is to hang up the dry skins. So let's just lob some of them on. Um, I think I'm going to do three for now. They hang once I get the fish, they hang it on there to dry, and they preserve it so it lasts longer. See, there's a fish on there. They're putting fish on there now. Um, that's been in storage, as you can see. So it's got some fishes there. Two, four, six, seven, eight. So two, four, six, two, four, six. Yes, yeah, so I can have twelve, and that that'll be hung on there. As you can see, they're actually drying at the moment. Once they're dry, they go into storage, um, and then obviously they last longer. Basically, this here is a crafter station. So this is where all, technically this is all that I've unlocked so far that I've started. Um, you can see that a lot of stuff goes round on a yellow round the box that is due to a production um, so basically right click to toggle continuous production so they continuously do that if I ask them to do this someone who's available will be able to craft that it doesn't have to be a crafter as long as it's an adult they can all do it so someone will sit there and craft that stuff once they've got the materials to actually do that job um, storage again storage can only hold a certain amount they've got a continuous allowed in this store so I can actually stop doing this if I wanted to like some of them but I'll let the little fuckers get on with that 
is the dog. This is our dog. Um, he's there to protect the camp. We can butcher him if times become bad. Uh, we can give him a good slaughter, but um, we try not to. Right, it's getting into the winter period now, so obviously the temperature is going down. It is 3 degrees, 2 degrees, 1, 0. So it's minus 1. It is very cold now, so um, hopefully we get through the period. Again, it happens like any other sort of game. We can actually, they can die, uh, you can overpopulate, they give birth. Exactly the same sort of scenario, really. Uh, again, we can plant stuff we want, so we've got Ema, Econ, and Barley. We do that because we need that as animals as you go along. So we put that there. So someone will start planting that. Again, I don't need to assign people to certain jobs. Um, herd of elephants going past that. That I believe are red. Yeah, you've got the, even the younger ones are sort of moderate. We haven't got enough skill for that at the moment. So we'll let them, they've just gone to get a drink by the looks of it. But yeah, this is, this is the field. So as I was saying, I don't need to assign, like in Banish, where you have to assign someone uh, to be like a farmer and stuff like that. You don't need to do that here. Um, they automatically will know it needs doing. And whoever's free at the time, as an adult, will come out and do it at the right season so I say it's getting very very uh, cold it is minus one at the moment so it is snowing as you can see we've got the, the, the fish dry in there so we've got some food we've got 10 fish we've got 11 people we've got compass com capacity of 12 got a lot of wood going so what what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do storage but I'm gonna do storage for wood uh, out the way a little bit one there and one there just so we don't have to keep it in storage otherwise you're just wasting another space to be honest uh, we'll do that for rocks as well this can be like a little storage area survive the winter so that's a good start uh, what we do is we do obtain stone two people will work on that and I'll put that to 50 I'm not going to put that to 100 so now we're going to we're coming into spring if that needs planting I'm not sure when it needs planting but they will plant that when they need to plant it um, what we do is because of the summer is when you pick strawberries raspberries grapes whatever's around um, we will put collect harvest wild plants there's some there there's some here there's more here so we put two people doing that that's a continuously production so they just continuously do that and pick them all the time got some sticks here we've got some rocks that they're bringing up there for ag old woman she's an old bitch at old woman's eye uh, she's got She's, her stacks are pretty good actually, she ain't lost anything, she's done well. Well done. Uh, again, as, as you go up, you can upgrade these. You can set them for high priority as well. At the moment we can't upgrade them because you get points here uh, in a knowledge game. Um, we've only got 9 points at the moment, I'm not sure what it is when we need to start. Here you can see what, how many points you need. So you go from you know the Polyphic Age all the way up to the Iron Age. Um, and that's when you're actually making massive, like, mini cities, really, uh, mini villages. And then you can have de defence. You do need to defend your camp, because you will get not just animals, uh, bears and lions that come in and try and attack it and kill your people. Uh, you also get, you get a lot of um, people like raiders that are just walking past, and they decide that they want to come and raid your camp, so you've got to defend it. So, right, this is the trader. So this is what she's trading. She's got curd meat. She's got seven skins. I will take one of them. She's got pulse, uh, desmetication, dry fish we don't need, pulses, 
she's got bones and she's got straw I'll take the straw and that and then we need to give her sank in return so it's easy for me to give her that but what I'm going to do is I might take a few more of them I'll just give her that because it's easy to get wood so I've got some dry skins that should be in there somewhere I just haven't put them in there yet. She normally just drops them on the floor, so they're around somewhere. They could be in some people's houses, to be honest. No, it sticks. What's that? Flint. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll start planting here. Let's see if we can actually. I don't know if we could. There you go, look. There's, they planted it already, so that's going to become that. I'll get her to. We'll get her to plant over there as well. And this could be like the planting area that's around there. So we've got the dry skins, we've got the dry food that's doing. This here is a mortar, so this is basically to make ingredients. So it makes it from grain to flour um, once it gets some grain. Uh, how they get the grain is from obviously Ema. Once they pick that, someone will go in there, they grain it and smash it into actual um, thing bobs. Uh, right, so we haven't got a flint pick. Let's put that on. Let's take that out, take that out, and we'll do complete flint pings. Someone's there, look, they're making it out. Again, I haven't asked them to do that, I've just said we need that. Anyone that's available will just come and do it. And that's it's so much easier as a game when that happens. When people just come straight over because they know the job needs doing, instead of telling them like associating, you've got 20 people, two people do farming, two people do stone making, and so on. It's easier. This game is much better for your uh, well finger. To be honest with you, it's it's a finger good game. Right, as you can see now, there isn't any trees that are in this, so this can be d disappeared now. I can set another one up to move it further. And then I'll just do the same process again. Again, you've got one thing there. What's that? Vision. Right. Is that green? No. We do need to start killing animals. I know it's a horrible thing to say, but we do. Okay. We're going to go for it. If, if a lot of people do it, you've got a chance. Right. They should all go over to that now. Hopefully it don't start the elephants. Oh, excellent. That was easy. As you can see, they butcher it already. Um, so that, that was good. Now they butcher it. They take the meat back. Um, and then other people will come and collect this. You can recycle it to get rid of it if you don't want it. But we want it, so I will let them pick that up. And they'll bring that back to camp. That is over this section here. They should, they should put that on there with the thingy. Obviously, meat because it's food will go here. So you've got raw meat hanging up here. Again, it's got to be dry because it, once food is dry, it lasts longer. Um, you preserve it, so it's, it's better to keep it dry. Wet. We ain't got fridges. Come on, we're in the stone, the stone age here. So you know we're carrying all this shit. You can eventually you can get transport. So I think I can I can get sledges now, so I can make sledge if I want to. I can make one. Uh, I could I can make more than one, but it it takes two dry skins, and we haven't got a lot of dry skin, so uh, we've hardly got any dry skin. I think we've got we've got raw skin, so that needs drying here. That's what they're doing now. As you can see, they put the dry skin on there. That's drying, that's halfway through at the moment, for nearly 50%, along with that one probably. Yep, so that's drying. This needs cutting. Again, I haven't told anyone to cut it. They know it needs cutting, so they come and cut it, and they take that back to storage. It's it's, it's so much easier, because uh, you can just get on with what you've got to do, instead of worrying about putting people to certain places. I hate that, that's pain in the arse, that is. Um, but yeah, it is the way it is. Again, this hut here, you can see that they've got berries and so on. Um, so at the moment, we're pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it more of a housing estate over this side. So make a little hut, seem to move it around. Um, 
again this does take dry skin as oh no it takes mud got to put mud down uh, extract mud that can come from here uh, that can become 50 um, again you can associate too many jobs with them if you do that then they will tell you that you know the overload is too much gather sticks is the sticks been taken yeah believe so so that's all the sticks over there but we have got a nice selection of sticks here so I'll put that there associate one person doing that I don't want to overload them so they start making this it's going to stay there start building it properly it's not like instant build it does actually take a while I mean it would be brilliant like that. It's only McDonald's in the world that seem to instantly build one. Within two days they built a whole fucking restaurant. Right. Loads of dogs flying about everywhere. What's his name? No. What's his name? Oh, he ain't got a name just called Dog. I suppose really that's what his name is, isn't it really? So we're watching build this here we, we go so they're gonna start building it up now. Uh, our builder today is Viron and it is Hogak. So they're building the hut up as you can see it's very well done. They're building it very nice. The dog's watching, making sure everything goes okay. They put the mud on as a base, sticks around the outside, uh, but then they start putting the straw on the top. Um, again, that's, that's all they are, unfortunately. That's it. And then someone will move in there. That would be one of their house. Obviously, the more houses you build, the more people come to it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's handy. It's handy. They are cooking something. So, she's cooking bread. So, she was actually uh, cooking bread then. Uh, so, yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. It's not a bad time of life. There's no Facebook in there here, that's for sure. We all work for each other. We look out for each other. We are reunited. We are united. <laughs> well, she goes. Is it he or she? Oh no, it's Marak. He's making some bread. Yeah, so it is literally grains into bread. One grain. There it is. There, look. That third grain takes it into someone's. In his house, and they've got eight bread in there. Little kid. He's a boy, Maroc. So basically, yeah, they've just got the grain from there, taken it into there, and then obviously they, they pound it here to turn it into flour. And then they use the flour to make the bread. Uh, right, the traders here, so let's have a look, see what's got. Straw, we'll take the straw, because we can't make any at the moment. Don't need any logs, don't need. I'll take that, I'm not sure what that is actually, but goat desperate, yeah we could do with that, but that will have to do at the moment. Um no, I don't want to dry skin log. I'll have to do some logs at the moment. There you go. Obviously as you progress see they drop it all in there and then anyone that's available at the time will take it from there and put them in there. So they're making bread. Again, it's it's one of these it's one of these things that actually sometimes <laughs> you could overdo it. And I've done it loads of times where I built loads of houses, I wanted loads of people, then I couldn't feed them. You know, so slowly is the better way of doing this. Uh, the storage is looking good. We've got loads of sticks, got wood, uh, logs and sticks go together in one bit. So we're doing pretty good with that. Um, obviously, we've got some rocks as well. So that's pretty good we're doing well for rocks actually what I could do now I think that's it for the rocks isn't it yeah they've got rid of all the rocks we could slow the rocks down actually because I don't think we need any more what about the trees no that's good get rid of that this yeah there's still some of that again they won't harvest berries and stuff until the summer it's, it's in the winter now so that won't happen we've got enough there's no storage slots left so we need to build 
we need to build another storage that's why these haven't taken them because it was full up uh, we do need to build another storage hut so we should build that have storage at the back there set that as priority so we can hurry up and get the storage done so whatever they're doing they put they will leave when they can then they start banging this out to make this bigger so the things you can see on the left hand side there this is the only things that obviously decay uh, meat and stuff last longer as long as it's dry before obviously you put it in the storage right let's have a look see if there's anyone any good ones about near the camp no it's not a lot of animals around here I mean it is the hardest setting so got a donkey over there a wild donkey they're quite hard to catch out well we'll have to keep on with what we've got well here comes a blizzard it's going to be blizzarding now with snow because the temperature's got it's minus 14 ladies and gentlemen minus 14 what's up with him now what's up with him I don't know what that means some of your people have no warm clothing oh god we could lose people oh my god look look at that see there's always a hard nut trollack old man yeah it's alright in my day this is nothing minus 14 <laughs> god you don't know you're alive He's rock solid, that bloke. He's out there, look, enjoying himself. We ain't losing any health, though. He must be indestructible. Right, here comes the storage. Storage building's going up. Look at that. Eh? It's a McDonald's build. Instant. Boom. Shake the wood. Tick, tick. Boom. <laughs> right, come on. Let's speed it up. Dun, 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 dun. What's the women doing it for? Adult woman. Right, now that's done. Obviously, any other storage they've got will go in there as well. So we've got all this here. Um, and obviously, we've got this bit here. So we're okay for storage for a minute. We've got 14 people living here. And the welfare is a hundred percent at the moment. Welfare is very good. Prestige eighty out of a thousand. So this is a measure of how well known your settlement is. The higher it is, the better it is for people to come. As you can see, you can have all the animals at the moment. We've, we've got four dogs and four animals, obviously, because we've got four dogs. Uh, but you can have you can have donkeys, goats, animal. You need shelters for them. You can have horses. You can have cattle. And obviously you use that for milk and stuff like that, so you use them to survive, basically. Or just kill them. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. That's waiting for dry two levers. That is waiting for that. They won't get done because I haven't built Tanner. That would help. Build that. So I'll get around to building that in a minute. Off they go. Stop building a Tanner. That uses dry skin to put into leather. Um, so yeah, they will. Actually, they want to do free. Always, I keep using the dry skin, and they need the dry skin to keep alive. They use leather normally for the summer. Well, that sounds weird, but that's what they do. And then the dry skin is to protect them when it's the winter. So we've, we've cleared quite a bit out of this area, actually. To be honest, we need to do some more logs use over here again you can build loads of different defenses and stuff here they go look they've all come out there because it's the time to do that everything cows can wait they're out there planting so they're, they're plant they do that then they move on and do same cows so yeah it's not bad at all not bad so could be much worse well, I've got a storm coming now so yeah you've got all sorts of weathers in this game and they've got a storm to try and keep alive Horrible, horrible storm. He's collecting sticks. You can build bridges and stuff like that once we get later on in the game. Um, I've only got to play in this game. Right, so now we've got 19, so I can unlock this side if you want. This has already been unlocked. That's handy. 
can't remember doing that, but obviously I have. So th this is where we are at the moment. So we can keep going up and up and up and up. Um, I've never got any further than the Copper Age, so um, and unfortunately most of my people died. So I've never got any further than this, but you can go up to here, and then you've got deep mining, you've got proper combat stuff, stone carving, stuff like that. You've got some proper shit, you know. Uh, so let's do pulse. Let's unlock that, but we've still got loads to unlock on this side, so we've got quite a lot here. Um, so that's th that is uh, unlocked. I'm not sure what that gives you actually, to be honest. But uh, we've got to build a totem that will help make everyone happy. So we we'll watch and build this, and then we shall call it there. The uh, first episode of Dawn of Man, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dawn of Man. Oh yeah, baby. Groovy, baby. Shagadelic. Hmm. Right, what are they waiting on? Oh, they're waiting on bloody bone. We ain't got any bone. So, you're not going to watch that. you have to see them. I don't think we've got any bones, have we? No, we ain't got any bones. So, that, that's going to be quite a while, that. Because we can't find an animal that's... um. Kill. Right, well, we'll leave it there. Hope right, you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe. Um, you can subscribe at the outro that you'll see after this anyway. Uh, just one little click. That's all it is. That's all it needs to be. If you don't want to click it, then don't click it. Um, until next time, guys, I shall see you when I see you. And I hope that you have a brilliant end of the weekend and a great start for next week. Until next time, guys, stay happy. See you later.